where, where religion has been looked at as your own ethnic centered point of view. You can't see nobody else but yourself. You can't see nobody else but yourself. Because it's a revolution of learning altogether, you know. Uh, but I'm going to see it more clearly as, as I get into it. Uh, if chemistry is unified under hydrogen as a building block, then we're going to look now at the various subjects that constitute uh, what you might call the modern day learning, knowledge base, biology. Well, biology concentrates on a building block called cell. Okay? Except that the cell is a chemical compound which says that the cell ultimately is has itself as a building block called hydrogen. So in effect, biology therefore is a subset of chemistry. Of chemistry. The mystery of the ancient Africans. Okay? So the biology experts and chemist experts they're no different. They're the same profession. What about psychology? Well, psychology is the study of the behavior okay, of biosystems. Okay? Well, what could you do how could you do that study of the behavior of the biosystems without dealing with the cell? You're dealing with the cell, okay? The cell is what, in other words, you're talking about the behavior of cells in effect. Mm -hmm. But in reality, you're talking about the behavior of hydrogen. Mm -hmm. In other words, that's also a subset of chemistry. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, psychology is therefore a subset of chemistry. What about, as long as it's the behavior, study of the behavior of the biosystems, biosystems are driven by the cell, and the cell is driven by hydrogen. Clearly, there's a connection right there. Then, of course, what about sociology? Well, is the study of the interactions, interactions between biosystems, biosystems, okay? The, in, the study of the interactions between biosystems, what motivates that Interactions, of course, is the cell, which ultimately is motivated by the hydrogen. Again, another subset of chemistry. Okay? What about history? Because folks that, you know, are historians say, well, listen, I'm not a mathematician, I'm not a scientist. Okay? Well, <laughs> let's look. History is... Uh, a study of events, okay? Events that occur over a time period. Events, okay? Events, okay? Events occurring, events about or by or about bio and non bio systems. Bio and non-biosystems. Okay? Of course, you know where I'm going. Okay? The events, an account of the events about bio and non-biosystems. Of course, biosystems are dri driven by the cells. Okay? Even the non-biosystems will be chemicals anyway. 
which directly, of course, are driven by hydrogen. So again, that's a subset of chemistry. So again, it's a matter of putting them in this form as separate units are just for convenience. Mm -hmm. But they are branches of one subject called the mystery of the ancient Africans. Mm -hmm. So all knowledge came from the ancient Africans, if you will. You're saying all knowledge? Of course, every subject here is linked with the mystery of the ancient Africans. Mm -hmm. That's what it says, right? Now, professor. And in trying to build this, they, of course, sat down to think and said, well, we're not going to get in, run in, rush into this project willy-nilly, you know, just do slap dash. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to sit down and think about it. And in the process of sitting down and thinking about how to build it, at the first, came out the subject called geometry. Geometry. Okay? Geometry, which indeed is mathematics. That's all mathematics is. That's math. Well, in your in your um, in your elementary description of geometry, you hear geometry as being a study of shapes and so on and so forth. Mathematical study of shapes, except that it is it is indeed it is indeed. Uh, the entire mathematics, that's what geometry is, okay? Geometry deals with shapes, all right. It deals with lines. It deals with everything that is on this board is geometry. Maybe by giving examples, you know, the, the thing could be understood better, okay? The examples, uh, you know, of the, what geometry is. This is geometry because it has a length, a, a height, and a width, okay? That's a shape, therefore that's geometry, okay? The same thing with every letter that's on this board here, okay? The line here, you know, this God here, if you draw a coordinate system, Y, X, the G here becomes a geometric line, if you will, a geometric curve. This is a geometric curve. Okay? Or line. That's what G is. Just you know. So so is every letter. So everything is geometry. Of course, Gagot has been described by the European Mathematical Society as being a geometric dynamic, a geometrical dynamic. Dynamic uh, uh, study of or uh, form of unified field theory. Unified field theory. Theory. Except it's not a theory, it's a theorem. Okay? But that's what, that's a classification by the European Mathematical Society that it's a geometrodynamic, meaning it is a geometry way to view the universe. Which is uh, kind of on the surface, look like it's different from the kinetic way of viewing the universe or the quantum approach of dealing with the universe. Okay? But there is a relationship. Okay? There is a relationship. So, uh, which, and as you can see, part of the relationship are being demonstrated by Gagot explaining the, the origin of this word. That's what religion is. That means that you must believe in my way or no way. And in believing in my way, if you don't believe in my way, I have an army. And I'll wipe your people out and I'll force you to believe my way.